tutorial, I will be showing you how you can encrypt and decrypt your secret messages or information, the art known as cryptography. Nowadays, there have been countless issues where people's personal information, like passwords or credit card numbers, get stolen and used by other people. In this tutorial, you will learn how you can encrypt your information so that in case your chips or your cards get lost, when other people find them, they will not be able to use or understand the information, and you have the key to decrypt them. Over here, let's imagine that you have a secret message that says, help me, or this can also be your password. You Here you can choose your key. Over here, I have a 2x2 two two matrix. Help me equals to this matrix here. So for me, here I have my code. 1 equals to A, B equals, I mean, a equals to 1, B equals to 2, all the way until Z equals to 26. And white spaces are equal to 0. So if you see here, this is H, E, L, P, space, M, E. Here we have a blank space. Now, to encrypt our message here, we simply m multiply our message with our key. Here we get our encrypted message. Now other people won't be able to understand this. Here you inverse your key. This is also your key. All you have to do is multiply your encrypted message with the inverse of your key. Here you get your message again. This here is just an example. But in real life, you would want it to be more secure. So instead of simply saying a equals to 1, b equals to 2, you can have a equals to something larger, like 1003, b equals to 98, c equals to 34, and so on. And there can also be capital letters and other things. Over here, my key is simply a 2x2 two two matrix. You can change that to a 3x3 three or even a 10 by 10. Just make sure that your key matrix has the same amount of rows and columns, and the determinant of your matrix does not equal to zero, or else the inverse of that matrix will not exist. We do not have to use matrices to encrypt our messages, with this here, like for a, every A, it equals to 1. For every B, it equals to 2. All we have to do is pass all of our numbers into a function, like uh, to encrypt our message, every, every number times 8 or every number squared. Then we, and we just do the inverse when we want to get our message again. That is also OK. but Matrixes are more commonly used nowadays, and in Python, there is already a module made for matrixes. And when you just choose a function, sometimes it won't be so secure. So now, let's have a look at our Python program. I have two Python files here. One of them will, will be for encrypting our message, and the second one will be for decrypting it. Let me first run this. Here, let's put in help me. We get these numbers. We can copy these numbers and then put it somewhere safe. But let me just run my other Python file. I'll run this. Here, they ask us to input our coded sequence. So I paste those numbers. We get help me again. Now let's have a look. First, let's have a look at this, at the Python file that will encrypt things for us. 
I input NumPy as NP, and from math I import seal and floor. Here we let the user input their message. Here we can define our key. We can have any key we like, as long as, or as long as it's a square and the determinant isn't zero. Here, this is our message in numbers. Here, it equals to a list. Letter for letter in message. This ORD will return what's will return the number form of this letter here. So let me just open a new file. If I print ORD of A Here they give us 97. So B will be 98, C will be 99, and so on. So over here, we are not having A, B, C equals to 1, 2, 3. Now, this will be a list of all the letters in number form. And here I define my columns. This will be the number of columns in our matrix for our message. Since you should remember that, there should be the same amount of columns in our matrix and the same amount of rows in our key. So the length of key 0, which is this list here. Since our key must be a square, it doesn't matter which index we take. Rows equal, here I have the length of our list of, no, list of numbers divided by the columns. This here, this now, and then here I have seal, which will give us the integer that is closest to the top, like 7.8. If we have seal of 7.8, they will return 8, or 7.2, they will return 8. Now, message in map. Here I will have my matrix with my numbers in it. I mean, our message in matrix. First, this will simply be a matrix with all 32s inside. 32 when is actually space when we convert them back to numbers, I mean letters. For i, x in enumerate message in numbers, i is just the index, and x will be the number. Message in matrix, here I have the floor of that index divided by the columns, and this percent sign will return the remainder, so index divided by the columns. Code in matrix, I, here I have numpy.matmo, this will return the multiplication of the two matrices in here. So here I have my message in the matrix. I multiply it with our key. This will already return a matrix of our encoded number numbers, but I want to have it in a string for more convenience. So code in a string equals to empty string. And now for every line in code in matrix, for every number in that line, code in a string plus equal that number convert it to a string plus a space. Finally, I print code in string. So I'll just run this. If I have A, B, C, here we get this. Now let's have a look at the other program, the decoder. Here I input, import NumPy as NP again. Here we have the same key. Code in string equals here, they will let us input our numbers. Now, code in list. This will take every number in our string here and put it inside a list separated by that space. Now, for index number in enumerate, code in list, code in list, that index will equal to the integer of that number. So right now, this is a list of strings with a number in each string. But we want to turn this into a list of integers. So over here, we did that. Now, in 
source of our key is numpy.linout.inverse. Here I pass in my key. This will already return the inverse of our key, but I want to round it to the, let's see, it's, in here it will round it to the, let's see, 10,000, 100 thousandths power. I mean, it will round it to 100 thousandths digit. Now, the columns is the length of our inverse key, zero. So this will be, this will be amount of columns in our new matrix. Rows is the integer of the length of the code and list divided by the columns. Here I have the int sign. We don't really, this int wouldn't do much. It would just turn this float into an integer. Code in matrix equals to numpy.array code in list. So this is just converting our list into a numpy array. But now we want to reshape that numpy array with the amount of rows and columns we passed in here. So over here it's just a single line. Now this will be like a matrix. Message in matrix equals to numpy.matmo. Here I have my code in matrix. And then it times the inverse of our key. Message equals to an empty string. Now for every for every line in message in matrix, for every this is actually number in line, message plus equal to chr will do the opposite of ORD. So if ORD of A equals to 97, then chr chr of 97 equals to a so message plus equals to chr the integer of in and we print that message to avoid any errors or flaws in your program make sure that the determinant of your matrix is equal to 1 this is the end of this tutorial if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, please leave them down in the comment sections below. Please subscribe to my channel. It's called NetsEDU. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please have a look at my other videos. They might help you in programming. Today is February 14th, 2020. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.